Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dehina with Miss Dino's Math. And I have yet to figure out what I'm going to recall this channel because it's not going to always be about math. But today it is. And today we're going to show you how to skip count with five tens and a hundreds. Now I know there's a lot of uh, videos on YouTube on how to skip count, but they always just start with five tens and hundreds. Like they'll start at those numbers. Today I'm going to show you how to skip count with five tens and a hundred starting with any number. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so let's say that you were skip counting by 578. Let's say that that was our number and we're going to skip count by a hundreds. I always have my students just circle the number that's in the hundreds column and tell them that that's the number that's going to get changed and we're just going to be counting up by ones. So my students will go, okay, after five becomes six. And I tell them with hundreds, everything's going to stay the same. Everything in the tens and the ones will stay the same. And so I just have them go, okay, it's just going to be the number in the hundreds. So it'll just go up from there. Seven, seventy-eight. So you can just see the pattern. Five, six, seven. And it'll just keep going up from there. So my students will just go, okay, keep the first two numbers and the ones and the tens the same and just keep increasing the number in the hundreds column. So now let's go to the tens column. So we're going to put our 578 again. Now this one will be a little different. I have them identify the tens column. So we were skip counting here by one hundreds. Here we're going to be skip counting by tens. So that I always have them identify what place value is going to get skip counted. That way they're able to just go, okay, that's the number that's going to keep getting increased. So we will have 588 and that's the number that will increase. So we're going to go 7, 8. Now here's where we start getting into a little bit of a trick here as we get past nine. So I tell them, okay, we're just going to keep counting seven, eight, nine, the next number. Now this is going to be the number in the ones. So that'll stay the same, but like we would do with addition nine, 10, this is the zero of the 10. And like we would with addition, we'll just increase that by one, like we're regrouping. So that'll be 598, 608 so there's our 10 and then we'll just continue with counting up so 0 1 and there is our pattern 7 8 9 and there's the 10 and then we get to the 11 so they'll just have to know that this number in the hundreds column once we get into the 90s it will go into the next hundreds now here's the next one, and that's going to be the trickiest one, is by fives. So we'll put our same 578. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can just have your students add five, like we would. And it kind of just depends on if their addition skills are to this point. They could always do this on a number line, too. So to find out their next number, it's going to be 583. And I tell them, okay, now we have enough numbers to find the pattern. So we have an eight and we have a three. And you can just let them know that that pattern will just continue to be eight, three. So we just know our no next number is going to be eight. The next number in the ones column will be a three. And we can just say, hey, we're just still going to be in the 80s. So this will be 588. So here's our pattern, eight, three, eight. Now we just have to tell them we're always going to have pairs. So there was the eight, three, eight. Now watch this. We already had um, two eights here in the tens column. So there's what we're talking about the pairs eight, eight, and this will be nine and there'll be another nine there. So there's, a, there's the pattern. So let's talk about the ones column again on the pattern. Eight, three, eight, three. 
And then in the tens column, it will be eight, eight, nine, nine. Okay. And then again, once we get into the hundreds, I'm sorry, in the, into the ones column, it will still do that repeat. Sorry, that'll be an eight. What was I doing? Okay. So let's look at that pattern again. Eight, three, eight, three, eight. Let's just take this one more spot. And if the pattern is nine, nine, now the next pattern is going to be zero, zero. Okay. So let's take a look at that pattern one last time. Ones column, eight, three, eight, three, eight, three. And then our last eight. And then if we look at, take a look at the tens column, eight, eight, nine, nine, zero, zero, or, you know, it becomes tens. So there's skip counting with hundreds, tens, and fives. Fives is going to be the one where we have to just find this pattern. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on today's video of skip counting by fives, tens, and hundreds. Hopefully it was helpful and hopefully you're able to now choose any random number and be able to skip count by those numbers. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in my next video.